Allopurinol, Wikipedia article audio. Allopurinol, sold under the brand name Xylopram among others, is a medication used to decrease high blood uric acid levels. It is specifically used to prevent gout, prevent specific types of kidney stones, and for the high uric acid levels that can occur with chemotherapy. It is taken by mouth or injected into a vein. Common side effects when used by mouth include itchiness and rash. Common side effects when used by injection include vomiting and kidney problems. While not recommended historically, starting allopurinol during an attack of gout appears to be safe. In those already on the medication, it should be continued even during an acute gout attack. While use during pregnancy does not appear to result in harm, this use has not been well studied. Allopurinol is in the xanthine oxidase inhibitor family of medications. Medical Uses Gout Allopurinol was approved for medical use in the United States in 1966. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. Allopurinol is available as a generic medication. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 0.81 to 3 US dollars and 42 cents per month. In the United States a month of treatment costs less than 25 US dollars. Allopurinol is used to reduce urate formation in conditions where urate deposition has already occurred or is predictable. The specific diseases and conditions where it is used include gouty arthritis, skin tophi, kidney stones, idiopathic gout, uric acid lithiasis, acute uric acid nephropathy, neoplastic disease and myeloproliferative disease with high cell turnover rates, in which high urate levels occur either spontaneously, or after cytotoxic therapy, certain enzyme disorders which lead to overproduction of urate, for example, hyposanthine guanine phosphorobosyl transferase, including Lesch-Nyhan syndrome, glucose 6. Phosphatase including glycogen storage disease, phosphorobosyl pyrophosphate synthetase, phosphorobosyl pyrophosphate amidotransferase, adenine phosphorobosyl transferase. It is also used to treat kidney stones caused by deficient activity of adenine phosphorobosyl transferase. Allopurinol was also commonly used to treat tumor lysis syndrome in chemotherapeutic treatments, as these regimens can rapidly produce severe acute hyperuricemia, although it has gradually been replaced by urate oxidase therapy. Four formulations are used in this indication when people cannot take medicine by mouth. Allopurinol co-therapy is used to improve outcomes for people with inflammatory bowel disease and Crohn's disease who do not respond to thiopurine monotherapy. Co-therapy has also been shown to greatly improve hepatotoxicity side effects in treatment of IBD. Co-therapy invariably requires dose reduction of the thiopurine usually to one-third of the standard dose depending upon the patient's genetic status for thiopurine methyltransferase. Tumor Lysis Syndrome Allopurinol is used as an add-on drug for refractory epilepsy, because it is an adenosine agonist, which inhibits glutamate release from excitatory neurons, but does not change the plasma concentration of other epilepsy drugs. Allopurinol should not be given to people who are allergic to it. Inflammatory Bowel Disease Drug interactions are extensive, and are as follows. Allopurinol may also increase the activity or half-life of the following drugs, in order of seriousness and certainty of the interaction. 
CO administration of the following drugs may make allopurinol less active or decrease its half-life. Epilepsy CO administration of the following drugs may cause hypersensitivity or skin rash. Contraindications and drug interactions Because allopurinol is not a uricosuric, it can be used in people with poor kidney function. However, allopurinol has two important disadvantages. Side effects First, its dosing is complex. Second, some patients are hypersensitive to the drug, therefore its use requires careful monitoring. Allopurinol has rare but potentially fatal adverse effects involving the skin. The most serious adverse effect is a hypersensitivity syndrome consisting of fever, skin rash, eosinophilia, hepatitis, and worsened renal function. Allopurinol is one of the drugs commonly known to cause Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal acrolysis, two life-threatening dermatological conditions. More common is a less serious rash that leads to discontinuing this drug. Pharmacology More rarely, allopurinol can also result in the depression of bone marrow elements, leading to cytopenias, as well as a plastic anemia. Moreover, allopurinol can also cause peripheral neuritis in some patients, although this is a rare side effect. Another side effect of allopurinol is interstitial nephritis. A common misconception is that allopurinol is metabolized by its target, xanthine oxidase, but this action is principally carried out by aldehyde oxidase. The active metabolite of allopurinol is oxypurinol, which is also an inhibitor of xanthine oxidase. Allopurinol is almost completely metabolized to oxypurinol within two hours of oral administration, whereas oxypurinol is slowly excreted by the kidneys over 1830 hours. For this reason, oxypurinol is believed responsible for the majority of allopurinol's effect. Allopurinol is a purine analog. It is a structural isomer of hyposanthine and is an inhibitor of the enzyme xanthine oxidase. Xanthine oxidase is responsible for the successive oxidation of hyposanthine and xanthine, resulting in the production of uric acid, the product of human purine metabolism. In addition to blocking uric acid production, inhibition of xanthine oxidase causes an increase in hyposanthine and xanthine. While xanthine cannot be converted to purine ribotides, hyposanthine can be salvaged to the purine ribotides adenosine and guanosine monophosphates. Increased levels of these ribotides may cause feedback inhibition of amidophosphorobosyl transferase, the first and rate-limiting enzyme of purine biosynthesis. Allopurinol, therefore, decreases uric acid formation and may also inhibit purine synthesis. The HLA-B-5801 allele is a genetic marker for allopurinol-induced severe cutaneous adverse reactions, including Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal acrolysis. The frequency of the HLA-B-5801 allele varies between ethnicities. Han Chinese and Thai populations have HLA-B5801 allele frequencies of around 8%, as compared to European and Japanese populations, who have allele frequencies of around 1.0% and 0.5%, respectively. The increase in risk for developing allopurinol-induced SJS or 10 in individuals with the HLA-B5801 allele is very high, ranging from a 40-fold to a 580-fold increase in risk, depending on ethnicity. As of 2011 the FDA-approved drug label for allopurinol did not contain any information regarding the HLA-B5801 allele 
though FDA scientists did publish a study in 2011 which reported a strong, reproducible, and consistent association between the allele and allopurinol-induced SJS and 10. However, the American College of Rheumatology recommends screening for HLA-B-5801 in high-risk populations, and prescribing patients who are positive for the allele an alternative drug. The Clinical Pharmacogenetics Implementation Consortium guidelines state that allopurinol is contraindicated in known carriers of the HLA-B-5801 allele. Allopurinol was first synthesized and reported in 1956 by Roland K. Robbins, in a search for antineoplastic agents. Because allopurinol inhibits the breakdown of the thiopurine drug mercaptopurine, and it was later tested by Wayne Rundles, in collaboration with Gertrude Ellian S. Lab at Wellcome Research Laboratories to see if it could improve treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia by enhancing the action of mercaptopurine. However, no improvement in leukemia response was noted with mercaptopurine allopurinol CO therapy, so that work turned to other compounds and the team then started testing allopurinol as a potential for gout. Allopurinol was first marketed as a treatment for gout in 1966. Mechanism of Action Allopurinol is sold as an injection for intravenous use and as a tablet. Pharmacogenetics Allopurinol has been marketed in the United States since August 19, 1966 when it was first approved by FDA under the trade name Xyloprim. Allopurinol was marketed at the time by Burroughs Welcome. Allopurinol is now a generic drug sold under a variety of brand names, including Alahexol, Alozig, Melurit, Aloral, Progout, Uricolas, Xyloprim, Zilleric, Zeric, and Aluron. Azathioprine and 6-mercaptopurine, azathioprine is metabolized to 6-mercaptopurine which in turn is inactivated by the action of xanthine oxidase, the target of allopurinol. Giving allopurinol with either of these drugs at their normal dose will lead to overdose of either drug, only one quarter of the usual dose of 6-mercaptopurine or azathioprine should be given, didanosine. Plasmididanosine Cmax and AUC values were approximately doubled with concomitant allopurinol treatment, it should not be CO administered with allopurinol and if it must be, the dose of should be reduced and the person should be closely monitored. Cyclosporin, Coumarin anticoagulants, such as warfarin, vitarabine, chlorpropamide, phenytoin, theophylline, Cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, bleomycin, procarbazine, mechlorethamine. History Society and Culture Formulations Brands Salicylates and medicines that increase the secretion of uric acid, furosemide. Ampicillin and amoxicillin. Diuretics, in particular thiazides, especially in renal impairment, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors.